My name is Gerhard Lengemann. As you all can hear by my accent, I'm from Germany originally. I started uh, at the Fennel factory as an instrument maker apprentice the 2nd of May 1947. That's many, many years ago. In 1962, we decided to uh, go to the United States because I felt there was a good opportunity in the States for repairmen. My wife and I moved to Michigan, to Niles. That's when we, uh, we started the company in a basement in a little house. And uh, she actually uh, owned half of the business. And uh, I must say, uh, uh, I was lucky to have her. Because without her, we would have never made it. Because when things were tough, and believe me, things were tough, um, we, uh, uh, she got tougher. And she was the one who always uh, got me. When I was ready to give up, she was the one who pulled me out again. When I came to the States, I had $400. I managed to get a loan of $1,200 from the bank, no security, and uh, I bought a mattress that my wife and Sue slept on. I slept in a sleeping bag on the floor. We had a, a, a card table. That was our house. I bought the lathe on time and the refrigerator on time. And that's how we started the company in a basement on 2 South Fairview Avenue. Then, in, uh, um, about a year later, somebody from the DOT came in and they asked me if I could do a little seminar. Basically, every head surveyor uh, from the state of Michigan was there. And that gave me the publicity. Of course, at that time, I was so naive. I wouldn't even know what was good and what was not good for me. So I said, OK, I do it. And they asked me, how much uh, do you going to charge? And stupid me, I said, oh, I do it free, which I couldn't really afford. But I did it. They paid for my room. I went to Lansing. And uh, I did the best with my poor English to explain to them uh, how to use the stuff. And I got a big laugh and I told them, uh, whenever you wave your rod man, you don't wave the rod man because he's standing upside down, you wave the crosshair. That was the catalyst, uh, the start for our success. Our business went up like a rocket. I could not handle the work anymore. In, uh, uh, 65 already we had built our uh, first building, which was the Chi Lingeman Company, which is still in existing. And about uh, three years later, we uh, uh, added on. We were uh, always focused, give the customer the best service. And uh, if you say something, you make a commitment, you keep it. No matter, no matter what. We always were on the up and up, always honest. And matter of fact, somebody predicted to me once that I would never succeed as a businessman because I wasn't tough enough, I wasn't shrewd enough. And uh, <laughs> I, I did somehow prove him wrong. But uh, anyway, in, uh, I always follow my intuition. And I always thought to myself, I got to go somewhere where it's warm all year long. Because I don't, you know, the winter time, they, they, it's dead. So I got that uh, fancy notion, I'm going to move to Florida. In 70, I went down. I had a chance to uh, purchase that land where, our, where we are living now. And um, I went down in 75. 